Hi, this is Kevin from BCH. Today we're going to refill a HP cartridge. We're going to use this HP PhotoSmart C4795, which is, uses the HP 60 cartridge. This is a very old printer. Um, we use this as an example. So we're going to use a minimum amount of tools, and uh, we're going to show you how to refill it and uh, how to clog it and troubleshoot it. The same method can be used on 61, 62, 63, 65, and all, all the integrated cartridge. Uh, we don't know anything about this printer. Uh, we know it has been a luggage for at least, uh, uh, in a suitcase for at least two, three months. And uh, before that, probably uh, it, it has been in the storage for like a year or so. So let's print a page. That's as good as new. For the first time refill, we suggest this kit, EZ30. It can be found at bchtechnologies.com under refill kit. For HP, and click 60, and uh, you can see the easy 30T. Some of you might bought ID30 KKK or ID30 KCMY, which is the same as EZT but without the priming, uh, the priming clip. Uh, so don't panic. In this video, we're also going to show you how to use ID30 and ID30 uh, KCMY without priming clip. The ID30 can be bought uh, from uh, BCH Technologies. Then you go to Refill Ink instead of Refill Kit. You go to Refill Ink for HP. And uh, you can uh, the quickest way you can select a total ink volume is 120 mil, which bring you. You either can do ID30 KKK, which is uh, three uh, K means black, it means uh, three blacks, three black ink, or uh, ID30 KCMY, which is a, a black cyan magenta yellow. Um, so it basically it's black plus colors. Uh, those ones doesn't have a clip again, but you don't really need a clip uh, to, to do this. Let's unpack a full kit, EZ30T. You have a black clip called a priming clip. Then you have two silicon pads, uh, the blue pads. One is for color, one is for black. Then you have a syringe. Because you have uh, spring bottles, you don't need a syringe to add ink. This syringe is for the clip. Uh, then you have four bottles of uh, ink. Uh, the ink is exactly what you're going to get uh, if you get the ID30 kit, like ID30 KKK or ID30 KCMY. There are also some toothpicks in the kit. The toothpicks are not for your dental hygiene, uh, those for poking in the cartridge and see what color is in the cartridge. Now let's take a look at the cartridge. At home, you can use your smartphone to zoom in. And this is the best way to check the printhead. On the bottom is the printhead. Uh, you can see the blue is leaking and uh, it has been dried for years. So um, pr 
probably the blue will give us the most pro most problems. We need a soft and uh, dried ink. So we fill a bowl with about a quarter to a half inch of water, and then we put a print head on it. Uh, if you want something more powerful than water, you can go to bchtechnologies.com and uh, go to accessories, and uh, you do the you go to the uh, anti-clogging agent. And then we have uh, two kinds of uh, uh, cleaning solutions. One is uh, green, which is a little bit more powerful. Another is uh, the clear kind and uh, it's a little bit cheaper. The black one is clean and uh, is, uh, I don't see any uh, scratching, so that's good. You can use the warm water or you can heat it up with the microwave, uh, I mean heat, it, heat up the water with the microwave. Or you can, heat, you can heat up the cleaning solution too, so make it, make it more uh, powerful. Um, a, there's no set of rule how long you need to soak it in and uh, just soak it and uh, make some prints, see if it works. If it doesn't, then come back and soak, soak it a little bit more and do more un unclogging. I normally soak about uh, 20 minutes for the first time. Let me show you uh, the top of the cartridge. You're going to find that the, for the black, there's a dent right on the right on the top in the middle of the cartridge. You just need to poke a hole and add ink from there. Let me show you why. And inside the cartridge, here's the sponge which holds the ink. And uh, then those holes are air holes. And then you can see a series of uh, long chamber that connects the air hole to outside, which allows the printer cartridge to breathe. So you don't need to get it airtight. We just need to add the ink to the sponge and we can use any kind of tape or anything to seal the top. We use the drill bit to punch a hole in the middle. Uh, when we insert the needle, uh, we don't want to go too deep, just to penetrate uh, the sponge a little bit. And uh, then we squeeze the, uh, squeeze the bottle seven times. If you see the ink comes out, uh, you can stop and let the uh, sponge soak in a little bit, then do it, do it again. Uh, you can see the black cartridge is completely dried. Even when we add ink, there's, uh, there's absolutely no ink comes out. Here's when we're going to use the priming syringe to unclog it. However, uh, uh, let me show you how to do it without a priming syringe. A, a priming, uh, you got a piece of paper towel and uh, fold it three times and uh, then add some water to it. Uh, get your house vacuum cleaner and uh, set it to host setting. Put the cartridge on the paper towel, wrap it around, and use the vacuum hose to suck underneath. Do it until you see a lot of black color comes out. If you see no color, uh, just soak more and just suck more and repeat. Then we just add a little bit more ink to compensate uh, what's been sucking out. Now we work on the color one. I'm going to take the label off just to show you, uh, but you, you can just do it over the label. You don't need to peel it off. There are five holes. The top one is one color. The left two holes 
are one color. The right two holes are one color. Okay, this is yellow. Then we use another one to poke in. And this one is magenta. We're doing three squeezes for each color. Uh, we try to get four squeezes in, but in most cases, three squeezes is all it takes. The ink may come out as soon as you remove the the black uh, uh, the black cap. So uh, just be be prepared for. In this case, we just uh, have a piece of uh, uh, a piece of tape cover it, and just make sure that you don't seal it airtight. Leave some uh, air, uh, leave some air space. If you're paranoid as I am, uh, you probably want to just poke a little bit of hole, a, a, a little hole on each one. Now let's use the priming clip to illustrate how to unclock with a priming kit. We have two silicon pads. One pad have longer slot than the than another one. The longer one is for black cartridge, and the shorter one is for color. We install the silicon pad on the stand. Some people complain that the stand doesn't fit, it's too short. Actually, it's not too short. It is built that way so you can have an airtight fit. So put on stand and push down and, and press in. I'm pressing hard and you will hear a click and it's in. Use the syringe to create a suction from the bottom. The ink should flow out if it's not clogged. Now you can see that it's completely clogged. There's no ink coming out. Uh, magenta is unclogged. We're going to uh, just uh, soak more and, uh, and suck a little bit more. We're going to steam it a little bit to open the pores. Uh, we're going to use a steamer. If you do not have a steamer, if you have a steam iron uh, for ironing the cloth, or you, uh, or you can just have a bowl of uh, boiling water and uh, just wave it out on the top of the boiling water, uh, waving in the steam to, uh, to open its ports. Or if your wife or uh, girlfriend have those official steamer, and uh, those can be used too. Uh, just don't, don't tell them about it. And we'll put it back to the clip. You can see a little bit of uh, yellow, so that's good. So we got uh, magenta and yellow working. Uh, just add a little bit more ink. Uh, we put it back to the printer and uh, see what's the current progress. Uh, we already unclocked the uh, magenta and uh, the yellow, and uh, you can see we still have problem with uh, cyan uh, because the cyan was leaking so we suspect maybe it's dried inside too so we just leave uh, we left the cartridge in the printer for a day to have the inside soft softened then we took it out and uh, uh, we put in the a priming, syringe, priming clip again and the draw ink out. And you can see the ink got darker and blacker, that means the sun starts working. The refilled cartridge will not show actual ink levels, it will always show low ink and uh, or ink depleted. When you see the warning said uh, 
original cartridge has been depleted, just click OK. And then now the printer will just keep printing. And just pay attention to the printout. If you if a color is missing, and then just add more ink. If you have straps, and uh, just do the unclogging as we did earlier. You can see after we click OK, the ink level of a black becomes a question mark. That means the printer will no longer track the ink level, so you can print forever. Uh, just pay attention to the ink to the printout quality and add ink as needed. In this video, we showed you some basic refill and unclogging and how to deal with the ink level. I hope you enjoyed this video. Visit us at www.bchtechnologies.com. Cheers!